All right, we're back to the paint application. Let's finish setting this up. So I'm going to add a new simple button in this application, and then I'm going to draw a little pencil or a little magic wand or a little plus or minus sign on top of it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the sprite selector. I'm going to choose a sprite, and then I'm going to add the button three again. Now, because the button 3 is too big, I'm going to add that little script again that will make it 50% smaller. So I'm going to go to events, and then when flat clicked, then I'm going to go to looks, the purple section, and set size to 100%, and instead of 100, I'm going to fill in 50. So when the flag is clicked, the button shows like this, the same size as the other buttons. All right. Now I'm going to go to costumes for this sprite and of course I'm going to delete this blue costume and I'm going to add the pencil costume to this button. Watch what I'm doing. So I'm going to choose a costume and I'm going to search for pencil again. I'm going to select pencil B which will add it as a separate costume to the sprite, but I don't want it as a separate costume. I want it drawn on top of the button. So I'm going to control A or command A in this costume. So select the pencil, then copy right over here or control or command C in your computer. So hit on copy, then go back to the other gray costume for the button and hit on paste or Command or Control V on your computer. So after you hit paste, the spread should look something like this, a huge pencil drawn on top of the button. So I want you to go ahead and shrink the pencil until it's small enough to fit inside the button. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to position it until the way I like it. All right, so feel free to position the pencil the way you like it. After you've done that, feel free to click on the Pencil B costume and delete it because the button with the pencil drawn on top of it is the only costume you need for this sprite. Then bring it down right under the red button and then set its coordinates to negative 150 for X and negative 155 for Y. This is exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to rename this sprite to draw, okay, because this is the toggle for the pencil. Then I'm going to duplicate this sprite for the magic wand. I'm going to bring it down right next to it, and the coordinates are going to be negative 100 for X, which aligns it right below the orange button, and negative 155 for Y. Now, of course, we need to edit the costume for this sprite as well. So I would like to delete the pencil from the costume of this sprite. So click on various parts of the costume and delete them. Okay. So this leaves just the gray button and then do the same thing that we did for the draw button and add the magic wand costume on top of the gray button. So here's what I'm doing. Hovering over this icon, I'm going to search. I'm going to select magic wand. All right, so we have magic wand as a standalone costume for the sprite, which we don't really want. We want this drawn on top of the gray button. So I'm going to control or command A on my computer. Then I'm going to hit control or command C or copy this little button over here. And then go back to the gray button and I'm going to paste it which draws the magic wand horizontally here on top of the gray button, which is not exactly what we wanted. We want this inclined much like the pencil. So I'm going to drag this rotation icon right until the icon is inclined much like this. Okay, and then I'm going to resize the magic wand until it fits into the button. So something like this. And then once you're satisfied, you can just delete the magic wand costume because the button is all you need.
I'm going to rename this sprite to be Erase because this will be the eraser toggle. And then I'm going to duplicate it for the full erase with a little lightning bolt icon on top of it. I'm going to name this erase all. Okay. And as we did for the pencil, I'm just going to delete various pieces until I only have the plain button over here. And then I'm going to add that little zap, the little lightning bolt on top of it, much like we did with the pencil and the magic one. So you know the drill. Hover over the choose a costume, click on search, and search for lightning. Click on this one, control or command A to select everything, then copy, go back to the button costume, hit on paste. This, we have this huge lightning bolt drawn on top of the gray button, which is not something that we really want. So I'm going to drag this little rotation icon until it's somewhat inclined like this. And then I'm going to resize the lightning bolt until it can fit inside the button. I'm going to, going to zoom in, make it a little smaller, draw it in the middle until I like it. And once you've done that, feel free to delete the lightning costume. As for the other two buttons, the grow and shrink ones, they're going to be pretty easy to create. So I'm just going to right click on this erase all button and I'm going to duplicate it as it is. And then I'm going to delete this lightning bolt from the button by clicking on various pieces of it. Make sure you're clicking on the black part of the lightning bolt so that you don't end up deleting the button. All right. Okay. I'm going to rename this sprite to be grow. And I'm going to simply draw a white plus sign on this little gray button. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select the line tool and click on this outline color picker, which would dictate the color of the line. And right now the color is black because the third slider is pulled all the way to the left. I want you to pull it all the way to the right and the second slider all the way to the left so that the color becomes white instead of black. Okay. And make the outline 10 instead of one. Okay. So the line will be quite thick. So right now we have a line tool that will allow us to draw various lines on the button. So I want you to start in the middle of the button. So maybe like here, and hold the shift key and drag your mouse down so that the line is perfectly vertical. Okay, so maybe draw something like this. And again, in the middle of the button, somewhere like this, hold the shift key and drag the mouse horizontally until you get a little plus sign. That will be our grow button. So rename the sprite to grow and duplicate it by right clicking on it and hitting duplicate and name this to shrink. And in the shrinks costume editor, just click on the arrow sign over here. Okay. In the editor and then click on the vertical line and just delete it. So all you're left with is a negative sign for minus. Okay. So right now we have all the costumes for all the sprites. Let's just position them on screen properly. So the grow button, click on it. The um, coordinates for that is going to be negative 50 for X and negative 155 for Y. So that's right below the yellow button. Click on the shrink button and make its X coordinate to zero and the Y coordinate, the same negative 155. And finally for the erase all button, click on that and set its X coordinate to 50 and its Y coordinate to the same negative 155 so that all our buttons are perfectly aligned. Now, all we need to do is create a little background for all these buttons because they look a little boring, don't you think? So I'm going to click on the stage here for the backdrop 
And notice that the backdrop also has a little editor where you can edit the backdrop. So all I'm gonna do here is create a simple rectangle that I'm going to fill with a gradient. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to click on this little square icon which will let me create a rectangle. So I'm going to drag a little rectangle until it covers the entire backdrop's width but the height just covers maybe a quarter of it. So something like that, okay? And then I'm going to click on this arrow icon and I'm going to click on the fill control and then I'm going to select a gradient and I'm going to select this third vertical gradient. Okay, so see the purple gradient? I am going to have no gradient to a light blue gradient. So I'm going to drag it, maybe something like here, and saturation a little bit lower than that. Okay, so something light blue. Okay, pick whatever color you like, and then just click elsewhere to validate, which will create this very cute light blue background behind the buttons that we've created. And at this point, we're done setting up the paint project. It's time to program our sprites, starting in the next video.